Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the KitchenAid dishwasher high limit thermostat. It's going to be a very easy repair and it's only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new high limit thermostat. The high limit thermostat is a safety device for the heater. The manager should be changing it out, so if it's failed and the heater's not working. In order to change the part, we have to take off the kick panel. We're going to use a flathead screwdriver to take off the retainers. All you have to do is turn the retainer 90 degrees and you can pull it out. Once you have the retainers out, you can lift the kick panel off and set it aside. Now that we have the panel off, we have access to the high limit thermostat. It's mounted on this bracket right here. It goes through the frame. We're going to take the bracket out, so just kind of pull it towards the back, making sure that the tabs are lined up. You can slide it through the frame. Once you have it out, we can take the wires off. There's two blue wires with red stripes. All you have to do is unplug them. doesn't matter where they go when we put them back on. Once you have the wires off, you can press the high limit thermostat out of the holder. You can separate it and pull it off the dishwasher. Here's the old high limit thermostat next to the new one. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. To put the new high limit thermostat in, first we're going to grab the bracket and push it down into that. Once you have it pushed in, we can turn it over. And like we said earlier, it doesn't matter which wire goes where, all you have to do is push these on so you get a good connection. Once you have the wires connected, you can lift the bracket up into place. All you have to do is turn it over so the thermostat's facing the bottom of the tank. And when you put this back through, you want to make sure the thermostat's in the same spot so it gets a good temperature reading from the bottom of the tub. Once you have it mounted, we can put the kick panel back on. To put the kick panel on, we're just going to compress the foam and put it underneath, lift it up into place. Once you have it in place, we can use a flathead screwdriver to put the retainers in. Once you have the kick panel installed, you can plug the dishwasher back in and take it for a spin. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.